Dan Jabalisco here. I just uh, received a, a very interesting message from a viewer asking about using an antenna with a high SWR directly into his radio. Um, I believe he has a Kenwood radio. I have an ICOM IC746 Pro. Uh, and his question had to do with running full power into a feed line with a high standing wave ratio on it. Should, is it safe to do that? Will it burn up my radio? And the, my basic answer was I don't know about running full power into an antenna like that. But my uh, IC746 Pro has a built-in antenna tuner that's supposed to compensate for standing wave ratios up to about 3 to 1 on a coaxial feed line. However, uh, I have force-fed my 20-meter uh, vertical antenna on frequencies as low as uh, 30 meters or 10 megahertz. Uh, 14 megahertz antenna force-fed on as low as 10 megahertz uh, and uh, that tuner will still match the antenna to a one-to-one -one SWR. It will, it will make the transceiver think that it's a perfect match. Uh, let's put it that way. I have an SWR meter connected in the feed line so I can see the actual SWR on the feed line and then I can see the SWR displayed on the ICOM uh, as the radio sees it after going through its internal tuner. I have matched uh, that antenna down to 10 megahertz all the way up through 28 megahertz. All of the bands from 10 through 28 megahertz successfully to a one-to-one -one apparent standing wave ratio, or that's what the radio really sees. Uh, and this tuner can compensate Oh, five, six, seven to one standing wave ratio. Uh, even though it's supposed to only work up to three to one. But here's the rub. I run 10 watts output on CW as my standard uh, output power. I'm a sort of a quasi uh, QRP operator, or almost QRP. Um, on PSK31, I run seven watts. The radio, I believe, is designed to produce up to 100 watts at full output. But I never run the radio at full output, uh, just because I like to, I like the, the feeling of accomplishment in making contacts and, and, and working DX with those low power levels. So I don't think I ever subject my radio to enough stress whether the tuner is compensating or not, uh, whether the tuner circuitry would be suggested, uh, <laughs> suggested, would be uh, uh, subjected to stress or not, I really can't say. Um, however, uh, it usually my understanding is that if a radio sees a, a too high of a standing wave ratio uh, on the antenna, it will automatically reduce its power output to compensate, uh, to prevent exactly such destruction of the radio's final amplifier and or antenna tuning circuits. But I don't, <clears throat> I still wouldn't try it. Uh, if your internal tuner in your radio will handle a very high standing wave ratio and, and bring it down, uh, I still wouldn't attempt to run full power under those circumstances just because I don't know exactly what will happen to the circuits in the radio um, if it were subjected to that kind of stress. So I like to let my radio loaf and I like to let my operating skills uh, see if they can compensate for the fact that I'm using low power and let me work DX that way. Um, his question also involved using ladder line with a high SWR. 
and that gets into a, a whole different uh, scenario. Most transceivers uh, these days have unbalanced outputs, and you don't want to just connect ladder line to that unbalanced output. And I don't think you'd want to do it through a ballon coil either if you have a high standing wave ratio. If you're going to do that, if you're going to uh, have ladder line with a high standing wave ratio on it, like a random center fed dipole uh, fed with open wire line, you're going to want to have an external transmatch designed specifically to feed open wire line. And I know that PALSTAR makes one. Uh, it doesn't use a ballon to, uh, to make the radio think that, that it's getting a balanced to unbalanced transformation uh, because ballon coils, uh, as I understand it, will not work well with a high standing wave ratio. They're designed for matching specific impedance ratios, either 4 to 1 or 1 to 1, purely resistive, say 50 ohms to 200 ohms or 75 ohms to 300 ohms or 50 to 50 or 75 to 75, but not um, some standing wave ratio uh, that's 15 to 1 with a whole lot of reactants in it. You don't want to subject a ballon to that. So you want to use a true balanced antenna tuner. And as I said, PALSTAR makes one. Uh, and uh, the old E.F. Johnson Viking Matchbox transmatches, both the low power or the regular power, uh, 200 watts or so, and the high power, the so-called kilowatt matchbox, those uh, would, were true balanced uh, antenna tuners, although they only supposedly covered 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. Uh, maybe you could get them to work on some of the bands in between, and maybe, maybe not. Sometimes you couldn't get a perfect match, even with a matchbox, uh, if the standing wave ratio was too high or there was too much reactance on the line. So, uh, my recommendation, if you want to use uh, a high standing wave ratio line with your radio and run full power with that radio, then use an external transmatch or automatic antenna tuner. I'm sure that Kenwood provides such a tuner uh, that you can put at the feed point where your antenna meets your feed line and keep your, your entire feed line perfectly matched. I used to do that until uh, the electromagnetic pulse from a lightning storm <clears throat> created uh, sufficient current in the control wires of that automatic antenna tuner, even though the antenna was disconnected. Created, a, uh, apparently this is what happened, the, the tuner got burned out by something, and it wasn't because the antenna was connected. So, uh, long story short, uh, short story long, use the tried and true proven methods that are theoretically supposed to work, and uh, that'll guarantee that your radio won't burn up. I can't speak for the transmission line, though. If the standing wave ratio gets too high, you might get some arcy, uh, if you or damage to your coax if you use full power with an excessively high standing wave ratio. So, the question was, using a radio at full power on a feed line with a high standing wave ratio on it, uh, and my answer is, ideally, you should use uh, an external transmatch to, to get the radio to see a one-to-one -one standing wave ratio at its output terminals. And if you have an automatic antenna tuner, put it at the antenna end of the line and then shield the control cable somehow so a thunderstorm doesn't induce currents in that control cable and fry your tuner. Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards and so long, which at 10 watts on CW, 
regardless of the SWR, always translates to... Did-did-da-did-da. Did, did, did,